In today's video, we will be walking through setting up an ExpressVPN Docker container. This container will allow other containers connect to it using the VPN connection. We'll use Portainer to modify our containers in this video, and then we'll use Sonar as an example of with and without the ExpressVPN connection. It's pretty straightforward, so let's get to it. We'll be using Portainer for the majority of this video, so let's go ahead and uh, SSH into our server. And then if you just copy the Portainer config and paste it into your PuTTY session, and this should install Portainer. And now that we have Portainer installed, let's go ahead and browse over to it. and run through the initial config. If it doesn't prompt you to connect to Docker at this point, just hit log out and then log right back in. And now select Docker and connect. I always like to set the endpoint first. Let's go to endpoint then local and let's set the IP address of the public IP and then click update endpoint. And now we can go back to home on the left and click on our local containers and go to containers on the right here. And we can see we have Portainer running. The ExpressVPN Docker container does not have a whole lot of configuration to it. So let's go over to check that out. So over here on my notepad, I have the Express a VPN Docker container here. And really the only configuration that we need to change is the very top environment variable on line two. Currently it's set to act code, which just, it just needs the activation code from ExpressVPN. So let's browse over to ExpressVPN and get logged in. And then we can grab our activation code here at the bottom. And then back over to our config. We're going to paste that into where it says act code. On line three here, I have it set to the smart server. This is just going to select the server closest to me. If you don't want it to do so on the Docker hub webpage for this, ex, uh, for this container, he does have all the servers listed. So if you want to specify, let's say Seattle, then you could just use USSE. But for this example, we're just gonna leave it on smart and leave everything else as is. And now that we have our activation code in, just go ahead and copy this and we can paste it into our putty session. And now that ExpressVPN is installed, let's switch back over to Portainer and refresh this. And we can see our ExpressVPN Docker container. And if we check the log on it, we can see that it looks like it connected to Atlanta. And then it says right here to check your connection status, type ExpressVPN status. So we just Copy that line here and go back to our containers and let's console into it, connect. And then we can type that exact line, express VPN status. And it tells us we're connected to USA Atlanta. Finally, let's spin up Sonar. So back to our notepad plus plus. I have our Sonar config here. So let's just go ahead and copy this and paste it into our Putty session. And now that Sonar is installed, let's switch back over to Portainer and go to containers. And we can see Sonar is installed here. And if we click on the port, we have Sonar. Now, Now the next thing is to show you that Sonar is currently using my internet ISP's public IP address 
to show you this, first we're gonna go Google what is my IP. And we can see it starts at 208.104. And if we jump into Portainer and console into our sonar console, or console into our sonar container and connect, we can curl the interface config if config.io and we can see that it's using the same IP address as my Google search of what is my IP. If we go into now, let's go back to containers and go to ExpressVPN and console into it. And we're going to use the same command curl if config.io and we can see this has a 193.56 address. This is using the VPN connection. So how do we make Sonar use ExpressVPN? It's pretty simple. So let's go back to containers. And then what we'll have to do is first we need to turn, we need to edit Sonar and we're gonna to need to completely remove the port. And then that's pretty much it for this step. we we'll just redeploy this. So currently Sonar is deployed with no port map. So there's no way to access Sonar. What we need to do is go under the ExpressVPN container and edit it. And we're gonna add the port for Sonar underneath our Express VPN container and then redeploy this. And then now let's go back into our sonar uh, container and edit it one more time. We don't need to map the port, but what we need to do is modify the network settings. And instead of using a bridge network, we're going to change this to container. And then with the container, we're going to select Express VPN. And that's it. Go ahead and click on deploy the container and replace. And our container is up and running. So now we should be able to click on port 8989 on the Express VPN published ports and Sonar should come up. And now we have Sonar there. And now if we console back into Sonar and run our if config command again to curl if config.io and now we can see it is also using the 193.56 address so now this container is routing through the express vpn container to use the vpn connection and that's all there is to it any other containers you need added to the express vpn you simply map the ports through the express vpn container and and be sure to select the express vpn container as the network for whatever container you're wanting to route through it if you have any questions comments feel free to leave them below and as always thanks for watching